Welcome back to Audio Trends TV. I'm Nathaniel, and today we're going to look at the brand new Klipsch The Nines. Let's get straight into it. I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing we just did for you. Now that we've got these out, what actually are they? So these are Klipsch The Nines. They come in a range from Klipsch, which is their heritage range. There is three models, Klipsch The Fives, Klipsch the 7s, which is their medium sized ones, and Klipsch the 9s, their largest. They come in a walnut colour or a flat black. Now, what are Klipsch the 9s, 5s and 7s? They're all active speakers. So what that means is one of the speakers has an amplifier built into the back of it, and then the other speaker is a passive speaker which uses an umbilical cable to link to that speaker, which sends it power. What this means is you get a really simple setup. So let's just take a look at the back of these now and work out just how easy they are to set up and what connections we have on offer. So now that we've got the back visible and accessible, let's take a look at what inputs we have on offer. So starting off in the top corner, you get an HDMI R connection, which is actually very special and rare uh, on a speaker like this. But that means you can use it with your TV uh, or projector. So that's fantastic and it's good to have that option available. Next, you've got a USB for service. You've got a primary switch for depending on which speaker you want to be the primary speaker. A pairing button. Coming down here you've got an RCA connection with a switchable phono stage. So that means you can connect a turntable to it with or without a phono preamp built in. Next to that you've got an auxiliary in. Next to that one you've got a subwoofer output which means you can connect any active subwoofer to this which will give you more bass. We'll soon find out if we need that after having a listen. Next to that one you've got an optical connection and a USB type B. Down here you've got your ground wire for the turntable connection. At the very bottom you've got your umbilical connection for the second speaker, power on and off switch, a fuse and your power cable. Coming up to the top you've got Klipsch's signature Tractrix horn shape for the rear port. Okay so now that all of that boring stuff is out of the way, let's face it it is boring but it is important everyone needs to know what connections are there. It's all done, let's get plugged in and have a listen. What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they gonna get to teach us? Captain. Oh yeah, that's right. Back with Cher. We mean business now. So after doing those few demos, they sound fantastic. The bass response is pretty tight. Uh, the rear ports do make it fairly boomy for movies, which is actually a good thing. Um, in terms of the mid-range, mid-range is very clear and crisp. Uh, for most things that I listen to, I tested a few more demo tracks that weren't in the video. No, just because of copyright reasons, I couldn't play them. Uh, but comparatively to the Eclipse of the Fives, you do get a way way bigger and more substantial full sound out of the nines, which should be obvious as you'd expect because of the big size of the cabinets and the bigger drivers. But in terms of detail at the top end, it's very bright as Klipsch is known for, but they sound fantastic and you get plenty of detail out of them. They basically sound like a larger version of the fives with more enhanced audio, more of everything that we loved about Klipsch the fives and just a fantastic looking speaker. And for the price, they're not bad at all when you compare it to something like a traditional stereo system which involves an amp, some sort of source connection, and then the pair of bookshelf speakers. You'd be getting very close to this price 
And for this price and the convenience and the fact you can plug in an HDMI from your TV, makes these a really fantastic speaker and a very good option for someone wanting simplicity, ease of use, and a fantastic sound quality. I honestly can't say more about them. If you would like to have a look at these or a listen for yourself, if you're in Melbourne, Australia, we've actually got a showroom in Ringwood and our name is Audio Trends and we've got a link on our website to our address and there'll be a link down in the description too. If you'd like to ask any questions about these speakers, we've got our number up here which is 03 9874 8233 and we've also got the small Eclipse the 5s on display and soon to be the 7s as well. So we'll have the full range here ready for when you want to come down and have a test. But for right now, I'm going to go and watch some movies with these bad boys and just enjoy, enjoy them. Thank you for watching Audio Trends TV. I'll catch you later. I personally love the look of these ones, especially in the walnut colour. They do come in the matte black, as I mentioned earlier. But this walnut just looks so classy, and the fact that the, the uh, Tractrix uh, tweeters uh, come all the way to the edge here of the cabinet, that looks so classy in my opinion. And also this line across here with the Klipsch logo just really makes them look very fancy and actually very premium. They're probably one of my favourite products that we've reviewed here, um, and I can't wait to test them out more and get some good use out of them at my home.